Alright guys, so uh, we're going to be doing a weapon comparison today. You guys always seem to enjoy these weapon comparisons. I'm sorry, I haven't brought this one sooner. I wanted to bring it sooner, but I've been just so busy. For those of you who didn't know, the Galil and the Ballistic Knife came into Black Ops 3. So, you guys know that I like to do weapon comparisons, and I really love the Galil in Black Ops 3. So, I granted Dark Matter for that, as well as the Ballistic Knife. And that took up hours upon hours upon hours. And then the next day, I wanted to go for a Ballistic Knife nuke sadly it didn't work out but we streamed that for a little bit so now we're on black ops 1 where the galia was first brought to us and here it is the galil just running extended mags because uh, in this game you can't run like multiple perks unless you have the warlord perk uh or multiple attachments unless you have the warlord perk so we're just going to run extended mags and uh, we're just going to go hop into a game of tdm uh, maybe drop some attack dog something like that because you can't get a nuke in this game and uh, since you, you really just can't get a nuke medal and all that, I really don't see what the point of going like 30 and 0 in, uh, or 30 and 0 in like a free for all or something. So we're just going to go to some TDM and just smack some kids with this Galil. Because uh, if I remember correctly, the Galil in this game was godly. Uh, of course, I liked it because if you look at my, not shotguns, you look at my assault rifles, um, it's uh, one of the, because like I don't even have the M14, which isn't good. The infield's all right, and then the AUG's okay. But aside from that, like the Galil, I'm pretty sure, was like one of the first things I unlocked every time I prestiged. Every time I prestiged, it was always the first thing I unlocked. So we got into a Havana game. So this is a good map. So we're going to see what we can do here. Okay, actually, no, we are getting destroyed. All right, we'll pick up that easy kill, though. I'll take it. Game over. All right, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. JK, we're not doing that. <laughs> One kill, and we're done. All right, guys. So now we're in a Nuketown game. So this is going to be a little bit better for us to uh, drop some streaks and whatnot. Let's go. Let's hit that cross map tomahawk. Okay, we got that kill. Good. I was making sure we got that kill. Ow. Holy shit. Surprise, motherfucker. Of course. Teammate, fucking right next to me. You can't move. You know, we're already 7 and 3. Can you. Alright, nice. We picked him up. I did not, like, realize how fast this gun actually shot. Like, the gun shoots pretty fast on Black Ops 3, but it doesn't shoot as nearly as fast. Like, I had I have rapid fire, because I've already gotten the uh, the gameplay, guys, um, for the Galil. And all, I can tell you this right now. Just after playing this one game, it shoots so much fast. Oh, my God. Hold on. There we go. Wanted to make sure we got that kill. Oh, guy coming below? Maybe? Nice. Picked him up. <gasps> what? Where was he? Okay. I thought we got fucking wall banged. Oh, man, dude. I miss Black Ops 1, guys. I really do. Next COD, I cannot wait. Boots on the ground, guys. I'm hyped. Oh, we got the we got the Blackbird. We're getting so. Oh my God, he's right next to us. Surprise, <laughs> dude! No. Of course, of course, this guy, we have him jumping around corners. I was about to get my attack dogs, and we have that guy. You guys, let me know down in the comment section right now, was Black, like, whose first Call of Duty was Black Ops 1? Or, what, what is Black Ops 1 your favorite Call of Duty? And if not, what is your favorite Call of Duty? I've asked this a lot. Oh my god, teammate, thank you. I've asked this a lot in a lot of videos, uh, but we've gotten a lot of new subs. If I die... We've gotten a lot of new subs lately, and I would just like to know 
what your guys' favorite Call of Duty is, what you guys think is the best Call of Duty. It's all opinion based. I know a lot of people like they like Advanced Warfare or they like all these other CODs. Like all opinion based. I have I do not care if you like Advanced Warfare over other CODs. Oh, we're getting this guy for sure, one hundred percent. Oh, we're getting shot up. Oh, we're stunned. Nice. I want to get dogs before this game ends. I don't care if we don't get any kills with them. Oh, we got dogs right at the end. Literally the last kill. You guys heard it. Is it? We got dogs. Okay, 33 and 8. Holy shit, boots on the ground. So much fun, man. <gasps> what? Why would you even be using a grenade launcher right there? It did, oh, he fucking hit me in the face. Oh, picked up that kill. We're like prone right here. Wait for him to come through. That's what I'm talking about. We got the dual wield pythons. Hoo-hoo. All right. Let's keep this going. SR-71. <gasps> no, no. All right, we got to pick up a new goat weapon, guys. Yeah, we got dogs. Let's get it. We got the puppies. We got the puppies, yo. Send in the reinforcements. Pick that kill up. Oh, there. Oh, shit. Dude, dogs straight go to work in this game. Like, kill streaks back in the day were so much better than what they are today, man. Like, I know there's supposed to be a comparison about the new Galil and the old Galil, but guys, in all honesty, they need to put kill streaks to actually get kills back in the game. Like, they, in my opinion, they need to get rid of the score streaks and they need to put it back to kill streaks. Like, if they went even to the point streak system where it was like uh, Modern Warfare 3 where if you capped flags and everything like that, you could still get streaks and whatnot, but I just hate this like whole score streak system. Because it's like, if you get lucky enough to get a care package, it's super, super low. You can get wraps so easily or one of those RC8 drones in uh, Infinite Warfare. It's crazy. All right, guys. So here is a Galil Nuclear Dark Matter camo. You actually saw this one yesterday. I uh, actually woke up late, and so I wanted to use just this gameplay because it is a nuclear. And it's kind of just me comparing them and just talking about them real quick. And then I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay roll out and whatnot. You guys can watch the nuclear if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, which was just me talking about the nuclear. So in my opinion, guys, I'm just going to shoot this off right now. I believe just with like recoil wise... Uh, when you're kind of moving around and running, the Galil from Black Ops 3 may be a little bit better. And I think that has to do with the fact that you can run more perks on the newer Galil, such as like Quick Draw, Grip, or like Extended Max, Fast Max, stuff like that. You can run more perks uh, than the original Galil because you can only run a max of two, and that's only if you put on the Warlord perk uh, in Black Ops 1. So overall, I like the Black Ops 3 version better as of right now because uh, it's just what I've been using and it's really, really fun. But I can definitely tell a fire rate difference. In this gameplay, you guys are watching it with rapid fire. And in Black Ops 1, it seemed like it shot just as fast as what this Galil right now is shooting as. Maybe a little bit slower, but it definitely shot, in my opinion, faster on Black Ops 1 than it did in Black Ops 3, just as the base model. And it definitely reloaded a little bit faster, but that's also because I did have slide of hand on and not dual mags. Um, but I did have fast mags on this, and you can just tell by the way I reload that in Black Ops 1, just with sleight of hand, which is basically fast mags, you reload a lot faster with, uh, in Black Ops 1, because it just seems like the reloading was better. If you guys have seen the base reloading for the Galil in Black Ops 3, it is literally the slowest reloading gun in the game. Uh, it's basically like reloading the Dingo, almost. Almost like reloading the Dingo, because it's so slow. It's a little bit faster than that, obviously, because it's an assault rifle but they definitely need to uh, tweak the they need to definitely tweak the reloading on this weapon and then they can make it a lot better but I really do enjoy uh, what Treyarch is doing with the Call of Duties. I really do enjoy Black Ops 1, the Black Ops 1 Galil, the Black Ops 3 Galil. I really enjoy how they're bringing older weapons back into the game. Back into the game. 
keeping the content fresh for the game uh, just because Infinite Warfare isn't that hot right now, guys. And I know I haven't uploaded Infinite Warfare in quite some time, but I will be uploading Infinite Warfare here in the next couple of days. I may be streaming Infinite Warfare because I had a drive for some reason to grind those new mission teams, get the two new nuke variants, drop a nuke for you guys, and then try to get some of the classic nuke variants as well. Because I've been seeing my buddy Korean, he's dropping a nuke with like the UMP 45 and whatnot. He's like 14th or 15th prestige. I want to do that. I want to get the UMP 45 and go drop a nuke with it. So. You guys will be seeing some more Infinite Warfare content here soon, and you guys will be seeing another weapon comparison here in like a day or two, just because since this was kind of a different one, it wasn't a nuke versus nuke, I'm going to go back and do a Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 one, hopefully soon. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please drop a like on it. Do not forget to comment which weapons you guys would like to see next. That really does help me out with deciding what weapons to do. And if you guys are wanting to give me an idea for a weapon for a forgotten series, just say you should do this as a forgotten weapon, blah, blah, blah. Make sure it's a weapon that uh, hasn't been used in quite some time or you think has truly been forgotten through Call of Duty. Like I said, hope you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment those things, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're on the road to 40,000 subscribers thank you guys for the tremendous tremendous support on the channel it really does mean a lot to me I uh, every day I wake up and I am I just feel blessed and I feel very very happy with where my channel is at and where I have brought it to because of your guys' support it's an absolutely unreal thing the other day we had almost a thousand people watching a live stream and that's an unreal I never thought I'd have almost a thousand people watch me let alone almost thir over 30,000 people subscribe to my channel uh, just letting you know guys you do mean a lot to me so thank you guys for all the support and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out